Well, hi all. It's been a while. Uh, I don't think people realize how hard it is to get back into this after you've started and then left and then tried to come back and it just, it's, it's so hard. So anyways, this is gonna be the first one. We're gonna get back into this every day, hopefully. Um, lots have changed. Uh, new house, uh, separation from family, uh, new job, whole bunch of stuff. So we'll get into that as this whole thing progresses. But uh, today uh, we're headed down to uh, a new co-worker's house and farm. He's going to be running the horse Serto. Uh, we're going to go down there and take a look at it and see what he thinks about it. So come on, join a ride. <laughs> figured I'd just drive and uh, and talk a little bit while we're uh, we're driving down the the cameras on the front dashboard I'm not holding it I'm just driving and talking as we're going here so don't uh, don't get too concerned about hands-free stuff I'm uh, I'm trying to be legit here but it's a good opportunity to talk while I am driving because I got 40 minutes to get down to I got 40 minutes to get down to Will's place so Anyways, hi everybody. It's been a while. Um, as I said to you before, there's been lots of changes in my life and try and go through some of those with you here. Um, I guess the biggest thing, uh, uh, I'm with the same company, which is each JV equipment, but with a different division now. Um, it's actually called Horse Ontario. So we are doing predominantly the horse line and a little bit of cloths uh, combine stuff uh, that I used to do as the most part of everything so it's been a good change uh, working with a great group of people there at uh, at the new location um, and I'll take you through that store sometime here at one point when we get some time um, introduce you to everybody but uh, for today we're going down to Will Morris's um, he's a co-worker and a friend and he's got I think it's about 50 acres worth of wheat that we're going to try and plant today with a horse Serto uh, and the Serto is a conventional uh, air drill, 40 feet wide uh, on five inch spacings. And we're gonna put down uh, some MAP fertilizer, uh, P and K fertilizer, as well as the uh, wheat seed to try and get his crop for next year. Um, we've been doing a lot of demos lately, a uh, bunch of avatar uh, planter stuff. You would see on Mark Brock's videos he's been doing later, that's the avatar. Um, and I'll throw some clips in here while we're talking about this, just so you can see what it is. Um, and then this is sort of the far extreme of the avatar, which is able to do no-till. This is a uh, conventional planter that isn't able to do a lot of no-till. Will's gonna try and do some with his today, just because he's got some nice light ground that uh, he thinks he's gonna be able to try it on. So that's why we wanted to go down and shoot this and show everybody what this unit is. But uh, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Um, other things going on, uh, things sort of started going south with, uh, with family. So we're no longer together. Um, I moved into a new place and her and the kids are still at the, ho the, the home house that, uh, that they were always in. Um, I get to see them lots, which is still great. I think things are actually better between the group of us right now. Um, so in the long run it sucked, but at the same point I think, uh, I think everybody's in a better place and things are good there. As I said, the new job, uh, new house. Um, yeah, everything just sort of all collided into one and didn't make it really easy to get back into this whole thing uh, as easily and as seamlessly as I was hoping it was going to after after the hiatus. But uh, things are better now and I'm hoping that this is going to be something that maybe we can try a little bit more often and get some videos out for you guys so you can see some new product other than combines like I've done in the past and uh, yeah, see what we get from it. everyone we uh, we tried to plant rye the other day at Will's place didn't work we got into uh, the field there got everything folded out started filling up off of the fertilizer truck and seed truck and it started to pour 
So that was four days ago. Uh, it's now Saturday morning. Uh, I just got to run and grab some lunch stuff for the kids so that they can be here at the house by themselves for a couple hours. And I'm going to go down and try and get this planter going with Will and uh, show you all about it. So come on along this morning and I'll take you with me. make sure everything's going. Will wanted to make sure his depth was okay. You can hear the seed coming out already. Here. So we're down at Will Morris's farm. Uh, we tried to do this farm the other day, but it got rained out. So uh, introduce you to Will Morris. This is his place. Uh, Will's been working with me at Horsch for not quite a year yet, is it? No, he started full time in April. April. Okay. So Will is um, going to be a product expert, I would assume, is where we're sort of leading you down the path with, but also doing a bunch of service with us. Uh, so one of the things we wanted to do is we, we didn't get a lot of trials with this horse Serto drill that we're trying to use here today So will wanted to use it down on this farm. So we're uh, we're down here trying to do that this morning So we're out planting rye Yeah, cereal rye cereal rye for Sato. Uh, put in the Brissetto and it's 65 pounds to the acre today so you can run from 48 pounds up to about 72 pounds to the acre depending on uh, on your planting window obviously the earlier you plant the lower your seed rate uh, we're also running about 50 pounds of map in to the furrow as well um, 10 days ago we put 175 pounds of potash on so our fertility should be pretty good we're due for a soil test once this comes off the plan is um, Combine this end of July, chop the straw back, soil test, cover crop, and then uh, spray it off in November ahead of the next crop of corn. We're gonna follow this as we go, just because uh, the search is a little bit newer to North America. <clears throat> They're usually running a no-till drill of some sort here, and we've got uh, a couple of versions of avatars that we're running. Um, I'll show some footage of that here right now, but uh, Will and I have actually got pretty attached to the Serto. Um, we're no-tilling into these bean, this bean ground here, but you've got very light soil to be able to do that in. Yeah, I've got an interesting farm. We're about two foot of black to yellow sand over clay. So we run typically a high water table. So we, uh, we last tilled this before the corn went in. Um, No-tilled, uh, the beans in are 15 inches, just squeeze the two rows in between the corn stalks. And now into this with a no-till as well. But it's, as I said, it's, it's, it's a curious farm where you can't get on, it's not always the earliest in the spring. So we try to do a longer season bean. This year's maybe a little later than I would like. Um, that's just the way the weather's gone. And then in with a the no-till then. So we've done rye previously, uh, worked quite well. We tried wheat, we're a little bit too light here for wheat. We had a manganese issue. Uh, so we've gone back to the hybrid rye again. So quite excited to see where this will take us. So, like I said before, we tried to plant this field on Monday. Yeah, Monday, <clears throat> yeah. Got the planter here, I got down here, the truck from the local uh, co-op pulled in literally just as it was starting to sprinkle. Will tried to get the seed off and into the bin and it uh, basically downpoured after we got the first mm -hmm. 50 bushels in. Yeah, that was about it. So <laughs> we, we had an inch and a half of rain from Monday till Thursday. 
Friday it drained and we had an awesome afternoon on Friday and here we are, started about 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. So we're not planted overly deep. Um, but an extra quarter? Can, yeah. So I'm happy with that because we've got enough moisture there. Uh, we've got a good week coming with a chance of rain on Wednesday, so we're hoping to see that pop maybe by not coming Monday, obviously, but the Monday after. But all... the nice thing was like the whole soil profile is actually moist right now rather than being a dry on the top. Now there's still a little bit of dust flying here and there type of thing, but uh, it's, it's just about perfect conditions as far as I'm concerned for planting here. We've been using the avatars this year. We had an eight and a six. Yep. And then we've also got that 40 footer that uh, customer down in Chatham's using. Yeah, 4010. We're using the Certo here. What have you seen that you like between the three of them as to what your preference would be? Why you're using the Certo here rather than the avatar? I think the Certo is a good fit for this soil type. Um, I like the double disc opener gives a really consistent seed trench and it's fitted with the Keaton seed firmness as well so you're always pressing it into moisture that's allowing us to keep a little shallower today. Um, Sudo is a great machine just needs to be matched to the correct environment so this sort of light sandy ground through Norfolk and we've also run it in rotted bean ground that uh, can be a little tricky because some is firmer than others um, we're yet to see the results of that. I think it's going to be pretty positive. Uh, we ran we ran tilled ground up at uh, farm towards Palmerston with canola. Yeah, that's where this is designed for. Yep. Is the uh, conventional tillage, the uh, <clears throat> the rolling wheels on the front is there to consolidate, and then you've got the double discs behind it running to be able to get that trench opened up and get it into where it needs to be at. Mm -hmm. I think it does a good job doing that. Yeah, and reports I've heard from that canola field that they're very happy with the emergence. Yeah. So they actually said to me that maybe we could have even lowered the seed rate if they knew how good it was going to be. Okay. It oh, was a good. perfect scenario where we planted it into moisture on the Friday evening and Saturday and on the Sunday they received three quarters of an inch of rain. The interesting thing was is we ran alongside on the next field over with their air seeder so we had a direct comparison yep. in the same weather scenario. So it be interesting to see how that goes all the way through to harvest. We're gonna try and do this more often. Um, Will's been pretty uh, involved with demos this year, doing most of them himself with us just because of timing. And I think that uh, getting to talk to him and me at the same time and doing some of these videos together is gonna to be interesting just because of the different points of views that you can get from, uh, from both of us. So um, we're definitely gonna follow this field that we're doing this in. We need to get up to Palmerston and check that field out a bit more when we get uh, get going here, if we get a chance. And then, uh, as the growing season goes, we'll uh, we'll try and compare some more stuff there too. So you can see here, if you can, maybe you can. There's a ridge right in front of us. Used to be an old tree line. Will says from before they bought the farm, 
I'm interested to see if this uh, is going to be able to flex well enough over top of it to... Oh, look at this. Look at that. So there's the flex on it. It's getting every row down into the, into the ground still. So the one other thing Will was just mentioning here, uh, so we did, there's 13 acres worth of beans that we harvested at the test farm in Norwich. Yeah. Um, so for those of you, obviously with me switching to horse, things have changed with that. So we actually have a 100 acre farm at Horse Ontario that Will and myself and Brent, who actually runs the store, the store manager there, we've been running rotations through the farm trying to get things set up with um, beans, wheat, corn, canola, getting a four or five crop rotation, but only using horse equipment to, to plant everything so we can show if it works or doesn't work or whatever. And we don't really care if it does or doesn't. It's more of just a proof of concept, really. Eh? Mm -hmm. So yeah. what we did is um, there's a three acre piece of beans and there was a nine acre piece of beans. We used the Serto on the back, nine and yep. we used the horse avatar, so the no-till drill on the front. It was, I don't know, probably a week's difference worth of planting. Uh, five days. Yeah. Five days. So that's the only thing that's going to screw things up for the test maybe a little bit. But we're going to be able to see what emergence is like compared to the two drills um, based on that. Uh, which again, we can show. Brent took some video of the day that he planted the back and the front, I think. So yeah. again, we'll try and piece those into here so that you can see that. But I want to try and turn this into as much as what I've always done with just sort of the vlog as to my daily occurrences of what we're doing. But I'm going to try and get Will and, and Brent to get involved in here a little bit just to show their side. Um, we're working together as a team. It's not just me anymore. That's one of the nice things that's changed from uh, coming from HJB to Horse Ontario is it's not just you running around the countryside like a crazy person trying to get all this stuff done. We're we're doing demos together. We're doing sales yeah. together. We're doing all that stuff now. And it's, yeah. it's, it's made it's made for a nice pairing and making you feel like you're not going to blow your brains out if you don't get something accomplished because you got somebody else that can help back you up a little bit. So um, it's also so, been good for me too to get some experience really quickly. Well, and that's been the best part for us is we've been able to get you out there and spend some time. And you had a lot of the experience already. It's just more individual pieces of equipment now than mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. So, but anyways, I'm going to end it at this. Um, really appreciate everybody checking back in and, and watching this with me. Uh, as I said before, it was, it's been really hard to get motivated to get back into this after everything that's happened and being away from it for almost two years but uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video I uh, hope you've enjoyed meeting Will and seeing what we've been doing down here uh, on this Saturday morning with him and we'll try and keep going um, if there's anything specific that you'd like to see from me uh, from Will from the horse product line or anything like that throw it down in the comments and uh, yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one see you guys